In this video, I'm going to give you the answer of the challenging exercise I gave you in the previous video. So, I hope you did your exercise and I hope you figured it out. And if you did not figure it out, don't worry, I'm going to show you exactly how. So you have all of these items here and these are all the codes. I already discussed them before. So how can you move around? So if we understand data sets, you will understand as well why we put in these numbers here all these numbers these are based on arrays so let me explain a bit about arrays so we have a better understanding what an array is so an array is basically a value that contains more values all right so you say well that makes sense but also not all right let me give you an example for example if i say color you would say well color can be anything think if you think about a color you would say well maybe green blue red pink etc etc uh, anything black white anything this is basically the values in the array color color is a word that consists multiple items in there and the same if you say car if you say think about a brand of a car you will say ford tesla uh, toyota etc etc so you can choose so there's multiple options so this is an array once you know what an array is and you understand here data sets work with array so what is the data set zero basically this here is considered or this one this part here is considered just with between the curly brackets it's considered zero then you have the next array here it's considered one so what we really want to do is we want to get in array number one of the data sets we want to get the value pink so we want to have here the zero value but we need to have value one first for the data sets all right so what i mean by this is the following here you can get this basically you want to adjust this so if you want pink you will say here change data set background color data set will be number one but the background color will be zero so why because that's the first value here so let's save this and once you see this we go back here refresh cool. let's see what's going on on the expected identifier oh of course we have text in here sorry for about that not allowed to have any text written here you can just move comment this out for now there we are so once you see now we have the values here and then as you can see it keeps on adjusting so once you understand these arrays you can now play around with it you can do here on number one number one and then this one will be now matching to the color here orange or purple go back here refresh let's close it and you can see now everything adjusts so now we have another great exercise for you imagine i want to adjust the values but now i don't want to adjust the outer ring i want to adjust the inner ring how will you do that? As you understand now, you probably understand arrays more better. Let's adjust it immediately. To do this, you would say, well, we can just adjust the values here. We adjust the values here from this one here. Uh, what is that? From the, from the data here. If this would be a fixed value, let's say this will be a value one, two, three, and this will be immediately mixed on with that. That will work or you will say i want to adjust this so we can do it here in data sets number one you say in data sets number one we have updated values that save this and then refresh now we adjust there we are so now we have new values being adjusted if you want to adjust both you probably get the point as well we can say here twice we just put in another line here and we say data set value zero save this refresh and then what happened now is this keeps on going and it's exactly consistent with each other so same story here now if you want to say well okay i would like to adjust it even more further i would like to have two options here what you do is you put in another input here and that input will play around with it as well so that's how you can go deeper and deeper and one of the nicest things probably, and this will be a real exercise for you to figure that one out because this one is slightly more challenging. Can you make this an input? And can you make from this input uh, a color option? So there's in drop, 
uh, in uh, Bootstrap, here's a nice color picker. Can you use this and select the color? And once you do that in here, the moment you select the color, the color will adjust. So you have control over the color as well. That is your next exercise to explore. So, and if you struggle with the answer, you can put a, a comment below. And I will show you in another video, in the next video, I will show you exactly how to do that.